Good afternoon. The first item of business is time for ref reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Dr. Mohammed Andries, President of the Muslim Council of Scotland. Thank you. Thank you, Presiding Officer, Honourable MSPs and ladies and gentlemen. I begin with the name of God, the kind, the caring. I am delighted to be present in this wonderful Scottish Parliament. Scotland is a nation of great men and women, from William Wallace to Andy Murray, Sir Alice Ferguson to Danny McIntosh, and of course Robert Byrne, the man of words, the poet. Words have a power, words are read, Reading is a great way of leading in intelligent life. That supports democracy, promotes respect of human rights. We read books for pleasure and sometimes to pass the time. And sometimes that makes us smarter. We read religious books for getting instructions that will help us live a good life. To experience the closeness, the proximity, and the love of the God. As legislators, you make laws, you know why it is important. It's the basis of just society. Law appeals to reason. It makes sense. The Quran is also a book of law, but more importantly, it teaches us moral values. Rules that determine the way you think, a state of mind that leads to good actions, an attitude to kind so that we can practice the moral values of kindness patience and forgiveness. The Quran, likes the Gospels, is full of such moral teachings. The Muslim families, like majority of Scottish people, are deeply concerned about preserving and transmitting the traditional moral values because we want kind and caring citizens in future. Moral values are fundamental for a flourishing and healthy human society. The Quran uses various styles of teaching, morality, and instructions, and by storytelling. It promotes these values by telling stories of great masters, Abraham, Moses, Jesus and Muhammad, peace be upon him all. Life is in our smartphone time where the society has more challenges. It's fast moving social media influences our mood and lives, creating fear and insecurity, unrealistic sense of independence, yet the interdependency is the reality of the society. This is what moral and spiritual values of Quran describe page after page, cooperation and working together. Psychologists are saying that people are suffering from moral confusion. Many people are lost and they are hopeless. Other lacks a sense of meaning and purpose of life. They have trouble in distinguishing right from the wrong. They question whether such standards even exist. The Quran is a manual, a guide for our worldly life. Even Friday afternoon before the congregation prayers, we read this 
words from the pulpit just like the Imam here in Scotland, they read all. People listen. God commands justice, generosity, and giving to the relatives or those who are needy. He forbid indecency, all kinds of evil and cruelty. He teaches you so this, so you will live a good life. That is chapter 90 of Holy Quran. The Quran in plain English has been presented to you all as a complimentary copy that was posted earlier on. I hope you have all received it. Please enjoy reading it and capture its gems. So we are it pearls and God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Abdus. Thank you. Thank you.